look, it's James Prendergast, presidential candidate. How the devil are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, we're very well, thank you. Yeah. Brilliant. So, James, talk. Let, well, what we're doing for policies. Let's, let's talk. Well, um, I'll tell you what. I'm not, I'm not up for change for change's sake. I see. I'm just... I just want to improve the student union. Okay, and I then. think that that could be done. Yeah, when you say improve, what, what are you thinking? Well, you know, uh, you've got certain problems with uh, extended queuing. I see, yeah. Always um, a problem. Which, yeah, I, I think everyone would recognise this. And, and I, I do know that, um, you know, the incumbent and previous people have been doing their best to, uh, to cut down yeah. these things. But it hasn't worked. Yeah, um, definitely. I've got, I know how to cut down these queues because uh, I've been a doorman for five years and I understand a bit about how entry policy and nightclubs work. Okay. Now, uh, my proposal is that we uh, get rid of the um, the entrance fee for starters. Okay, when, when you say you're going to get rid of the entrance fee, um, how, how are you going to justify that financially for us? Well, you we have to be offset against uh, savings in other areas. Yes, okay. Now, when I say get rid of the entrance fee, I mean while it's at its busiest point. So, free entry before 10.30, yeah, for yeah, instance. Yeah. Thereafter, you can charge, but then it doesn't. you're not dealing with huge queues. Yep. So, um, so what we could do is, is have free entry before 10.30, but the cloakroom will cost £2. <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, these aren't definite. I haven't. I. I <laughs> yeah, can't, yeah. I can't budget now for what's going to happen in six months' time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but the um, but but we can make we can make savings, and that's what I intend to do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Would that mean the cost of drinks might go up though? Well, I don't think it would because. Uh, as student unions go, I think the drinks in our union are quite expensive anyway. Um, what about the quality of the drinks? Now, the quality of the drinks is something that I've looked at, and I think that uh, well, there is definite room for improvement there. Yeah, excellent. I'm sure everyone's going to be very pleased about that. Uh, yes, definitely, definitely. I would like to see, for instance, um, uh, better quality draft beers yep. um, for the real ale drinkers out there um, <laughs> yeah. there will definitely be some uh, <laughs> but yeah that's yeah that's definitely what we're looking at at least traffic lights are taking a while aren't they? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, as president i will definitely cut these traffic lights down <laughs> just, oh god yeah. there's no roaming background for us at the moment <laughs> <laughs> here we go nice <laughs> yeah now, now that's uh, now that looks better now, my friend, I've read that you've got some ideas for changing the voting system, should you get in. Yes. Um, this is something that isn't directly linked to the presidential campaign, because uh, what we'll need to do is have a separate referendum on changing the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Now, that, that is something that we are allowed to do in the present uh, Constitution, is to hold a referendum on future amendments to, um, to said Constitution. And um, the way I see it, um, we, should, uh, we should have a system which uh, is simple in terms of people can understand that they know who they're voting for and that's it. Yeah, it's one definitely. student, one vote. This preferential voting system is all well and good in terms of uh, how, how you can... Um, uh, well, it seems to be you know, the least unpopular candidate... It's all very noble, yeah, and, yeah. And, but it's not. It's not fair. It's not fair to the the person that that you want to get in. Now, um, this the, yeah, this system might be beneficial to certain people, but it's but it's it's not right. It's not democratic, okay. and, and we need to we need to enhance democracy. Oh, absolutely. And and a, an enhanced democracy is a simple democracy and one that is clearly clearly free and fair. Um, I would also put forward other changes. For instance, uh, um, we could we could have a uh, we could look at the structure of the student government um, to make it more accountable and uh, and to involve um, students in in their politics. See, the, the only student involvement seems to me is in the elections. Um, 
and that's it. It's, yeah. it's almost as if it's let you know we've elected you now get on with it. And <laughs> uh, no, I, I think I think there needs to be uh, more accountability and and you know more participation. Excellent. Do you reckon that could be done through the student union website, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's a that's a way ahead. I mean, we're going we're going electronic um, in terms of uh, the way we do things. Uh, I mean, I would like to uh, I would like to uh, see uh, the internet used more um, in the, as a tool of the university, not just in the student union, but also, for instance, I think it would be worth pressuring the uh, faculties to accept. Um, to accept essays and, and uh, projects to be handed in via email yeah. rather than everyone having to go down and print it out and hand it in by hand. Wh why do we need to do that in this day and age? Why can't it be emailed? Yeah, and, it's a bit and, prehistoric, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, that's something that uh, I would certainly look at um, applying pressure on, on, the, uh, on the university for. Great. Any other questions for Mr. Prendergast? Adam, you've been quiet. <laughs> Martha, well, somewhere in your manifesto, you said you were going to lay down the harsher punishments for people who didn't abide by your rules. What, execution squads? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know whose manifesto you've been reading. <laughs> 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 As, uh, I think that was Pol Pot. Uh, <laughs> My mistake, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy one to make. I can you sure. can tell when I got it mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, um, oh, God. Uh, do you want to cut now?